Welcome to Luma. This demo will highlight how Luma can offload some of the mundane work that your support analysts are required to do today. If you are following best practices for a service desk, you are typically required to follow up with a user upon resolution of a request or incident to make certain that it has been resolved to their satisfaction. This follow-up, while extremely valuable for customer satisfaction, can be a time-consuming and costly effort for your support analysts. Luma is able to remove this routine task from your help desk analyst workload. The user will receive a chat from Luma asking if the request has been resolved to their satisfaction. The user can then respond with a yes, in which case the ticket will be closed. If the user responds no, it has not been resolved, the ticket will be reopened so an analyst can look into it further. There are other situations where a Luma follow-up may be useful as well beyond the, the resolved ticket. Consider approvals. If a ticket approval is pending for too long, this may affect the SLA on a service request, or it might cause a change request to miss a scheduled maintenance window. Luma is able to remind users that they have approvals waiting. Another situation. If a help desk analyst has requested some information from the user, and the user hasn't yet responded, Luma can ask the user for the information again in their chat channel. You can also create your own state-based follow-ups based on ticket statuses. Let's see how follow-ups are configured in Luma. Opening Skills Builder and clicking on Bots, then the vertical ellipses next to the Troubleshooting button. Then clicking on Bot Configuration brings us to the Configuration page. Click on the Follow-up tab to view the list of follow-ups that have been defined in the system. Let's look at the follow-up on Resolve Entry by clicking on it. I'll point out a few items here. The initial status field is the current ticket status that will be searched for. Note that this currently must be unique. You cannot have two different follow-ups defined that use the same initial status. The post status field is what the ticket status will be changed to. The number of attempts on the user's primary channel field defines the number of times that Luma will reach out to the user on their last used channel. The number of retries on an active channel field defines the number of times that Luma will wait and then retry reaching out to the user when the primary chat channel is active. The follow-up frequency field defines how frequently Luma will reach out to the user. Normally once per day will suffice, but there may be cases such as approvals where more frequent follow-ups might be needed. Checking the Add Work Log checkbox will cause the system to add a work log entry for each time Luma reaches out to the user. Scrolling down on the Card Message tab, the Message Text field will be displayed to the user, and for each ticket in the initial status, the Title and Subtitle fields will be displayed along with the various options the user can choose. In order to test the follow-up, you will need to log into your ITSM system and make certain that there is one or more tickets in the defined initial status for the user that you will be logging into Luma with. Now log into Luma via one of the chat channels and say hello. Then let the chat become idle and at some point, based on the configuration of the follow-up, Luma will reach out and present the dialog as defined in the card message tab. Here is a sample of the dialog that the user will receive from Luma. You have now seen one of the current capabilities of our Skills Builder application. Skills Builder is still a relatively new product and there are a lot more Skills Builder features in the works.